Hi, while making uh, this video, I was thinking we need to update the package of LXQt, right? So things change, things happen, and you've maybe seen the switch between Compton to Pycom. So another name, right? So let's first take another wallpaper because this is the standard wallpaper. I want to have a great wallpaper. Ah, we did a, we did a scale again. We did a scale again, which means my preferences have been overwritten. So I have my own folder that I've synced to this virtual box. That's using Google Drive, in sync application, apps, desktopper, three thousand or so wallpapers. Now I can select a wallpaper for a nice screenshot later on. One, two, okay, two seconds, that's faster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, not waiting anymore. I won't have this one. Okay, two seconds. So this um, this changing of wallpapers is normal on LXQT. It will happen at some point in time. That's another way to change your wallpaper. It will happen. Uh, Nitrogen maybe is another application you can install to change the wallpaper. This is the one I want to have a screenshot with. Pycam Compton. Pycam Compton, right? F12. We have installed this guy with Arclinux B, but you can install this guy with Arclinux D, ISO. Doesn't really matter. Pseudo Pacman. Minus S Compton, right? That's the old name. When we click on this Arch Linux says, let's redirect the user to Pycom. That's the new name. So Pycom is installed. Now, all over the world, people are still using the word Compton.conf, the configuration file. I suppose they will give a, a long support for that particular name, but we should change all our configurations and references and so on to Pycom, right? And while making these videos, I notice as well that in the .config here, we have LXQt, the file, and it had uh, Compton, right? It uh, was still named as Pycom.Compton.conf, uh, or rather Pycom.conf. So now I've made a package, which I'm gonna get right now. And as you can see, I've already experimented with it. It's transparent and it's virtual box, right? Let's um, update. Now, let me do this first uh, mistake, right? Always interesting to make mistakes. What I, where I put it is on the testing repo. It's not in there. Control Alt E, our beta testers, they know how to get to the testing repo and that's of course um, well not that dangerous but it is testing a name says it right so this here enable Arclinx test repo is just a click away for us and then we do an update and then you see another line and it says repo testing and I've just created this package to test to see if everything is is better working as it should work now the files have been installed in etc's Scale.config. Now I can do my easy way out, scale, right? But then everything gets overwritten. Also, my nice layout that I like now at this point in time. So, what I can do as well is go for a manual copy paste, and anybody can do it as well. So, everything in here is what defines the soul of our desktops in Prudel, right? It's always in here. Now, what I've changed. It's just this guy and that guy. Because in the auto start, I said to him, forget about this uh, uh, Compton thing. It's called Pycom, right? So he's gonna auto start the desktop, well, the, the, the compositor Pycom. It's a desktop file. And in here, I've said, okay, I'm gonna point you to the configuration file and the configuration file is in this particular folder. You'll find it and it's gonna call pycom.conf. So that's all I did, change the names. So this one and that one need to go with me, copy in the home directory. And I still have my nice uh, look. Control V, I don't think that was a success here. 
pastes, okay. Skip all, skip, replace all, boom. Let's have a look. So Compton is here, you're out, right? That's an old one, Pycam. We never delete stuff in your home directory. You do that, ever, right? So the Compton was the, out, the old thing, Pycam is the new thing. And in LXQUT, this one I had already changed by way of test. And this is the new pycom.conf. Now, let, let me show you. Super X. Logout. We're on VirtualBox. Okay, you're out. Um, oh, I did do a copy paste here. Did do something to my to my settings, but never mind. That's not important. Um, if you want, if you want to, well, let's include the video again because the previous video showed that as well. Um, but I don't like PC Man FM here. Let's quickly change because I was kind of falling in love with the look. So these guys, up, compare, and quick, quick, quick. We need so the auto start is changed, the content is changed, the PyCam is changed. Agreed. We've just done that. But the look of everything, the look, the look of LXQ is probably gonna be here. Copy to the left, replace everything, and quantum just no don't no need that. How to start, no GTK, no GTK. Okay, let's see. Just one folder because that's not the topic of the video, Eric. But I don't like the look. Okay, now if you look, carry on. So, Compton, Ctrl T. At this point in time, it's already transparent. And I'm amazed at that. I'm surprised at that. So I'm gonna reboot. That's not normal. When I did a copy paste, Virtual box should have been overwritten, but Compton was maybe still active when I tested it. So, right? Ctrl T. Still transparent. <laughs> okay, cool. How about termites? Let's start more termites. Uh huh, fine, cool. So, we're transparent. Um, Let's go for Tuna File Manager, it's cool. Let's go for config, let's go for LXQt, let's go to the pycon.conf and then don't like that really. Go to Perl, that's better. So these guys are used. Control find, give me anything virtual. And vsync is true, haha. <laughs> It's not a copy paste then, is it? Vsync virtual breaks transparency, put a hashtag in front before the line. So this normal code should be this one. That should be the normal code when I go it over. So it's cool, right? This means um, make every terminal in VirtualBox transparent. So this is what's applied. But I'm a bit worried that I did a wrong copy paste there. So I'm gonna check in my scale. This is the original. Whatever you do in your system, doesn't matter, break it, right? Because this is your backup. This is always gonna be there. That's the original. So I'm gonna look at the original. I'm gonna look for pycon.conf. And did I, or did I not, just to the find find easier. There you go. So the copy paste that I did, I don't know what happened, but that was not a copy paste. So this one, control C, now I have it for sure. Config, control V, replace all. Maybe I should rewatch the video later on because it should be saying that Aha, reload, good. It should be saying vsync is true without the hashtag. And let's do that again, log out. When you do it without the hashtag, every terminal on your virtual box, yep, 
it's again screwed up is now blackish or is it not black i think it's black yeah it's all black right so it does seem to to have a look through here but it's just an idea i think let's take another wallpaper the thing one two three four okay so no it's not a look through that's uh, we can agree on that and we have Thunar and let's again change the content so back to Alex Cute which is where are you guy uh. oh there he is Whew. what's going on so back to this virtual thing control find yes reload control find virtual so this v-sync is true virtual synchronization match the refresh rate of the monitor this breaks transparency in virtual box put a hashtag before next line to fix that so it's good on real metal it's bad on virtual box so hey you need to switch super x log out and log back in nice painting all right console t uh super t uh termite now we have had all our terminals so choose your the terminal you like that's always the point this guy your xvt i recommend for anything ssh related when you go to servers this is the one we use why um well it's an easy small footprint terminal and this is the one from LXQT itself so you have a choice in the meantime my design is again flawed but whatever we've made nice images before so that's cool left no I actually wanted to go up top all right so there you go we have now a transparency look on our um, system here and it all it's all changing right everything changes and um, this Pycom thing Compton thing and uh, you need to point as maybe also important to show you and uh, you need to point to what it should do and so in the code I have said something right without that it's not just boot it's just saying no we have to do Pycon minus B I think that's background and then here's the configuration file so you always have to um, man pycam and read 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 i read a lot right the beep i don't know background i suppose just a guess right so demon demonize so put it in the back let's let's uh, um, fork to the background here it is it says right so okay cool so that's uh, the back end right what what uh, i've done and Sorry, we can release this package and put it out of testing and back into, well, the proper repositories. This was the video about Compton to Pycom.